you've had your fair share and you know i guess coming back from injury is something that maybe you've got your head around these days like is Definitely. there a certain approach for you of like getting back on a bike and getting up to speed like how do you work your way um, through it i would say like for me like obviously you have an injury injury happens from that day one i've now learned i guess after as many as i've had i realized that as soon as you like have your injury it's like positive mindset needs to kick in because your body just does not heal well when you're negative all the time and you when you're you know feeling sorry for yourself and all the rest like it can be bad sometimes and we all have our days where you feel like the world's against you but for me I've now realized like because even a few people commented at Luna like you were so blase I didn't realize your shoulder was that bad I was like (laughs) yeah but like what was I gonna do about it like it was broken I can't magically make it feel better and then go and do what I want to do like it's broken I have to go through these you know there's a period that you always have to go through with your injury whether it's five weeks 12 weeks a year whatever there's always a set period you know and so for me I've realized that being positive is like rule number one like I don't let myself get negative about it I have I let myself have a coffee with my emotions every week if I need them (laughs) and I let myself be sad or cry or whatever needs to be done but overall it's like um yeah like i journal my thoughts of anything like if i need negative emotions out they're gone like i need them gone but uh yeah overall it's like the i guess positivity really that's my main thing but i think i'm pretty switched on when it comes to Mm. rehab now it's like just follow doctor's orders or physio's orders just do what you need to do go through the motions and then for me it's like staying active because when I, i feel in my head anyway when your blood's flowing you're like everything's healing and getting sunshine if you can unless you're in Wales um <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but yeah I mean like all the little things make such a difference and like good food and everything so for me that's why I feel like I heal pretty well because I just put myself into that okay heal mindset go <laughs> fair play that's super interesting because you are like I'm, I'm not especially when riders are injured or have got injured on a weekend I'm always quite cautious of how I would, you know, approach them or talk to them because it's you're obviously going through a lot in your head and yeah. you don't necessarily need some random podcast to turn up and say hello. <laughs> but literally every time I see you, you always beam in, you always seem to have a smile on your face, you've always got yeah. a positive energy, which is super cool. Uh, is it is it literally one coffee a week with your emotions or do you uh, do you um, need a bit more sometimes to kind of yeah, get that negativity I, out or deal with that because it's not it, it, well, it can't always be like 99% upbeat it, right it, no I mean we all see the happy Sean but Sean gets sad sometimes so yeah and I mean <laughs> I'm not always positive I love like I've been doing a lot of work on my headspace as of late really like the last maybe three or four months maybe even a bit longer um but yeah I feel like Oh, your brain is so complicated and I feel like you could talk about this for years and days and everything but it's uh yeah, I feel like there's so many little things that we all just do, but it's really easy to be negative all the time. And I'd started to get into the habit of speaking so negatively about myself or things around me or everything. And I feel like it got to the point that I then started working with someone and they've really helped me open my eyes up to how negatively I was speaking and how kind of those words then shape your reality. And it's just so insane how that all works with your mindset. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I definitely have my down moments. I'm only human, as of everyone. We all go through, you know, life. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, for me, it's like I just try and channel, especially at the moment, and I'm kind of really working on this now to go into next season more positively. Um, but, yeah, like, I really just try and work with my emotions in a nice way. And, you know, if I have the emotions, that's normal, and I then realize where they're coming from. And then I'm like, yeah, journaling's been a big help, to be honest, and, like, getting what I need out or writing down like constructive ways to fix the situation. And most of the time it's never as big as you make it in your own head. Um, But yeah, I mean, (laughs) yeah, I think, yeah, that's pretty much my main thing when it comes to my mindset. But I mean, like through the year, for sure, I was not as positive as I feel right now. But um, yeah, I definitely started to build momentum as the year went on. And my team even noticed big time, like they were, especially for world champs, I had seven weeks of like fix myself before it like mainly mentally and obviously I did a lot of bike work before and then I went to worlds and although it wasn't say the results the the result that I wanted position wise I felt my time was good and I felt my race craft was a lot better that week my attitude was better that week like I really felt like I'd found a routine within myself on how I wanted to approach a race week moving forward 
Um, so that was like an awesome, like, I feel like I ended on Endora. Ludenville, I got two okay. practice runs in. So for me, I feel like I ended on where I wanted to be my, within myself. Um, yeah. And I tried not to look at the result. And I said to myself at the end of that, well, at the start of the week, I'm not going to let a result define my happiness because for me, like the women's field, as we all know, is insane. And like, I got 20 seconds, yet I was nine seconds off a win. And it's like, that's mad. since when is those times so tight and you're like that far back in position wise? And that for me, I was like, okay, I need to just erase that result from my head and just think of like my craft of how I performed on the week. And was I happy with that? And I was like, yeah, I was. So I was like, cool, Good. that's progression that I needed to have. And that's like all that mattered for me. I was like, you know, that's results, results. And I feel like now I can build off that. And it's like, okay. Next year, we aim, we go, but, like, it's, like, yeah. I feel like it's just nice to have that, and my race craft is my most important thing that I'm, like, needing to improve on. So that's yeah. where I was happy. That's cool to hear. That that journaling, then, that obviously has become important to you. Do you have – is there a particular structure to that? Are there certain questions you journal against, or are you – is it a blank um, page that you scribble your thoughts down on? How does it work for you? Uh, it's a mix. So I journal a lot about, like – um just like little nice things to say, whether it's like, you know, putting my, I guess my mindset into a positive way and just little reminders to myself, whether it is about like, like for an example, I'd be like, I'd write like perception is my, my perception is my reality or whatever. And I would write that in there and just like remind myself. But on a race week at Andorra, I journaled a lot. And the journaling I did then was like at the end of each practice, like uh, section or after right up, let's go from track walk, I guess. After track walk, I would write, um things that I was like positive about and really excited about and like kind of went through that and then I also went with things I would like to tick off and kind of wrote so then I had my goals in my head of what I wanted to do how many runs I wanted to do and I guess like the speed I wanted to do and like maybe like a rough time and then just kind of like wrote I just wrote my thoughts of what I wanted to achieve out of the next day and certain things and then every day I wrote um, things that I feel like I did really great. And I would write like a little column of just that and write down what I felt like I did good. And then I would write um, in the next column as like things I can refine by 1%. So it was like whether it'd be like a certain turn or my speed or doing a full run or a feature or I don't know, either just my attitude, whatever it is, like I just wrote anything into that. And then and then I would also write myself on the next page, like little, so it'd be like on the same page. Um, it'd just be like little dot points of like nice things to say to myself, like about my confidence or whatever. And I would just write, like reaffirm things that I was already telling myself in my head and write them down. And yeah. then I did that every single day. And then so after every practice kind of session, I would write things that I did good, things I can refine. And then, yeah. And it actually was really, really helpful to be honest. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> 